Hi developers, I'm Hussain Dilia, I'm Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to develop iOS applications using Xamarin. Exactly here, we'll learn how to use the UI table view to show a list of names. To build this application, I'll use Xamarin Studio, create a new solution, go to iOS app, single view app, hit next, give our application a name, let's call it UI table view. Hit next, shows where to um, store your application. I save it in the desktop, then create. Once the application is created, we'll go to the main dot storyboard, and this is the previewer on how your application will look like when it will be executing on the iPhone simulator or on the device. Here I'll go and choose to preview my application as an iPhone 6 application. Make it smaller. And another thing to do is to click outside of the viewer and here choose to not use size classes. Then we'll go to the toolbox and look for UI table view. This is it. So let's drag and drop it to our designer right here. Make it larger. And let's give it a name until the widgets here. So let's call it names table or names table view. Then we'll go to the view controller to add the data that will be shown inside this table. So let's create the list that will be shown for that table. For that here I'll use uh, the view did load. I'll do that here. So let's create our list. And here because list is uh, under a new namespace I need to import that namespace. For that I'll use here using system.collections.generic and my list will be a list of names means a list of string, call it names equal new list of string, then initialize our list of strings. Now we want to that uh, our table shows those names inside of it. So let's call our table, which we call it uh, names table view dot source to give it this, uh, this names and then we do equal names but it is not like this actually because here source is of type UI table view source and names is of type list of strings and we need to create that UI table view source and pass to it our list of names and the, the UI table view source will create the view source for us. So let's do that. For that, I'll go to my project, right click and add a new item or new file. This file will be my names table view source. So this class should inherit from the UI table view source. This one is under the um, namespace UI kit. Then we'll be able to implement this abstract class. So here you see that we have two methods, the cell get cell and the rows in section. This latest one needs to know how many rows I have in my table. To know that, we'll pass to it our list of names, our names parameter here. So let's say that now we'll have our names table view so table view dot source equal a new names table view source. 
and to that class we'll pass our parameters inside the constructor and because here the constructor is parameterless we can use here a feature in uh, Xamarin Studio that will create an overload for that class, an overload that contains uh, the names parameter. Here I have generate constructor and names table view source. Hit that. And now that you see that in my names table view source, it has created a new constructor and created a new uh, private property for, for us, which is the names list. So now we don't need this default constructor. Once we have that name, names list coming from our view controller, now we can know how many uh, rows it contains. So that's by calling names.count and return the value to the color. That's the great. That's for rows and section. Now for the get cell method, which is the important one. Here, you see that it needs to return a UI table view cell. So let's go and create a UI table view cell. Let's call it cell equal new UI table view cell. And now you see that the UI table view cell have two parameters. The first one is the style, then the reuse identifier. So for the style, let's choose UI table view, view cell style dot. Here I have some options. I'll use the default one. The second parameter is the uh, identi identifier. I can keep it uh, empty for now. Then uh, that cell doesn't know the data that I want to display inside of it. To do that, I call cell dot text label dot text and give it the um, the name that I want to show inside of that cell and so here um, I want to show the names inside my names list but here names is a list of string and here text is only one string so I need to uh, access the right index from the list to show it in the right index from the in the cell. So I can do that by using the second parameter in my UI label view cell, which is here the index path. The index path will tell me the row I am in, which is this one here, have uh, have which index. So. For that, I can use here names names of index path dot row. So now our cell knows which data to, to show. Now we want just to return that cell to the color. Great, now let's run our application. And here I choose the latest iPhone here, and the iPhone 7, and hit run. Now what's if I want to select a name and or select one item in that list and know the name that I have selected. So to do that, we go back to the name stable view source, create another override for a method called row selected that will be uh, executed and each time I select um, a value or a cell inside the table view. So to get the selected name, I'll go and access my names uh, list, then use the index path to get the row um, the row property which tell me the index of the item and the table that I have selected on. So now if I create a breakpoint here and run our the application again. When I select a name, here the breakpoint is in this line. It means that it have selected or it have executed this line of code. So then when I put the cursor on top of selected name, you can see that here the selected name is Ahmed. So thank you.